when I look around the world today, I see a different world than we saw even five years ago. People don't go to one place for media anymore. Not newspaper, not television, not radio, but it just comes to them all day long. All day, every day, people are bombarded with images, sounds, advertising. It's trying to get their attention all day long. So we have to say, what can we do to break through all the clutter? How far are we willing to go? It's something we all feel, but we don't know how to say. We know something's missing, but we don't know what it is. We feel it in our gut. In the book of Matthew, Jesus tells us to go out into all the world and preach the gospel, but we don't even know how to anymore. We want to, but we've lost our way. It's time to go out into all the world and preach the gospel and reach people where they are. This isn't a denominational thing. Nobody owns this. It's something for all Christians to share. Let's do this thing together. We're not advertising the four spiritual laws or putting John 3.16 on billboards. We do get to that information eventually, but we start with stories. So did Jesus. Today's generation is all about real people and real stories. Think YouTube and reality TV. Come On Let's Go provides that content. Real stories of real people whose lives have been changed by Jesus Christ. This content intrigues them and is able to actually keep their attention. TV, radio, billboards, display ads, print media, Facebook, Google. Anywhere there's people is where the stories will go. There are so many different ways you can get involved. You can email these stories to your friends. You can post them on Facebook. You can share your own story. Literally, there's something for everyone to do. And that's what Come On, Let's Go is all about. The empowering of the people of God to evangelize the world through the telling of our stories. There is no greater way to show the reality of Jesus Christ than through the story of a changed life.